Hello, everybody. Hey, this is Gabe from Gabe's Green Corner, and we're just doing some uh, iPad app stuff here right now. I'm actually going to show how to connect up the iPad to the cable. It's the same as the iPod cable, and then show how to transfer some uh, some pictures. Pretty easy stuff. All right. Now, here is my iPad. Is everybody seeing the iPad? Uh, back it up a little bit. And uh, I'm just going to connect up. Sorry for the, uh, the lameness here, but I don't have my tripod right now. It actually seems to have gone missing. So I'm just going to connect my uh, USB cable up here from my iPad, which is basically the same as the iPod dock, to the bottom of my iPad. You'll see here, just connect this up here. Plug that baby in. There we go. All right, now I've got my iPad connected to my Mac computer. I'm actually going to back my keyboard up here. I got it connected. Now let's see what happens. Uh, I think next I want to I'm going to click on my photos. No photos can sync from your iPad using iTunes. So I guess then I have to go to my actual computer screen here. And uh, let's see what we can do here. Navigate here to iTunes. Open up my iTunes account. Uh, let's see. Did my iPad come up? It did not come up. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's see. Let's see if we can refresh. Where's my iPad? I wonder if my iPad didn't actually get... Yeah, I got that cord in, right? Let's try this again here. Maybe it's a faulty USB cord. So connect that. got that connected up. And got this connected. I'm actually going to connect the iPad directly into my Mac keyboard because I don't know if that's, a, that's just a cheap USB accessory cable. Let's see here. There we go. The iPad actually twerped. Sync in progress. And I actually set it so that I don't really want to uh, sync anything, so it shouldn't actually sync anything. So we'll see what she does here. Just have it connected up with the standard cable here. It says uh, slide if you want to cancel the sync. I don't want to cancel the sync, but I don't want to. Oh, actually, I will do that. So I don't want to sync up anything. So now let's see up here. There we go, my iPad. All right, we just pulled my iPad up on my YouTube, my my uh, computer here, and we're going to do, let's see, I want to move some pictures. So let's see how we do this. Um, check for update, can restore. Movies, music, how do I do pictures? Uh, let's see. Yep, I just want to fly work. No, that didn't help at all. Okay. Let's see. How do we do this? Oh, here we go. Okay, so looks like in the upper section of your iTunes account, this might not show up real well because I got my, my lights on here for my video. Uh, in the upper part of your iTunes account, uh, you can click on, there is a photos on the far right hand side link. I'm going to click on it here. Click on photos and then you can go into iPhoto, not all photos. Uh, let's see what we got here. Sync photos from iPhoto, select albums, events, and faces. Then I'm going to go to, let's see, my last import. And let's see, can I pick anything out of that or not? Let's see. Uh, okay, so I'm going to hit apply. And then I go down to my iPad and it says sync in progress. So I'm thinking that you have to do either import an event date or set a folder. It didn't actually give me the option. Uh, I'm going to authorize this. It says this computer is no longer authorized for applications that are installed on the iPad. Would you like to authorize the computer for items purchased from the iTunes store? Authorize. Oh, okay, hold on. Got to enter my password. All right, put in my password. Can't let you guys see that. Oh, by the way, there's my blue snowball microphone that I do my audio with. All right, accessing iTunes store. Let's see how long this takes. I don't know why it has to access the iTunes store just so that I can transfer my information on my uh, computer onto my, okay. You have two authorized computers available of five. Okay, well, whatever. I'm trying to do is picture, transfer some pictures here. Pictures, transfer pictures. This is a pain. What is it syncing? All I want is pictures. It says optimizing photos for gate for my iPad. I think and I believe optimizing 
the photos for the iPad means that it's actually going to be shrinking them down to just a very small resolution. Because um, I know that you have to set a different option if you want to uh, set higher resolution. So basically, you have to sync, set your iPad up to your computer, um, pull it up through iTunes on your computer, locate the folder on your computer. And now, when you're on iTunes, you have to click on, you have to actually have your iPad connected. And it's the upper right hand corner where you can pick, you select which uh, pictures you want to pick out of there. So, all right, now it looks like it's synced. And I'm going to go back down to my iPad and I'm going to hit photos. And here we are, photos. Let's see if we got a good one. Here is me. And not a bad picture. So we did some syncing. Up. The, one of the cool features, too, I believe with all the other stuff, is yeah, you just pull your fingers apart, and it'll it'll make it bigger, or you can shrink it down, too. So kind of cool. You can make stuff bigger or shrink it down just by using your fingers. Shrink it down, make it big. So that is how we transfer pictures onto our iPad from our iMac or other computers. This has been another uh, issue of Gabe's Green Corner. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm just going to log out of this now and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, what do you want to know next about the iPad?